Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study pictographs. Pictographs are graphs like this, where there are little pictures and each picture means a certain amount of things. For example, in this pictograph, each blueberry means one little bucket. This pictograph tells us how many bucketfuls of blueberries these children picked. For example, Matthew picked three bucketfuls. And then Emma picked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bucketfuls. And Matt picked nine bucketfuls of blueberries. Here are some questions for us to solve. How many more buckets of blueberries did Matt pick than Emma? How many more? Okay. We are looking at Matt and Emma. How many more bucketfuls did Matt pick than Emma? You can see it easily here in the graph. See, Matt has two more of these blueberries, meaning two more bucketfuls. How about how many more did Matt pick than Matthew? Matt and Matthew. Can you see that? Can you count them? How many more did Matt pick than Matthew? I can just count here these ones that Matt picked more than Matthew. It is six. Six more. Matthew, why did you pick so few bucketfuls of blueberries? You love blueberries. Doesn't make sense to me. He's saying he was too busy eating them. <laughs> Yeah, understandable, but I wish you were a hard worker, Matthew. Okay, well, how many bucketfuls did they pick in total? How many in total? You know, I could take the 3 and the 7 and the 9 and add 3 and 7 and 9. Or I can just count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I got 19. So that was pretty easy, right? Over here, another pictograph. Toy cars that children have. This time, one toy car means five cars. Okay? Matthew has three cars, uh, three pictures here. But this is a pictograph. Each picture means however many the pictograph says. This time, each picture means five cars. So, how many cars does Matthew actually have? You have to count by fives. Five and five more and five more. So it becomes five and ten and fifteen. Let me write it here. Fifteen. Now let's check math. There's five and ten. Then fifteen and twenty and twenty-five. And lastly, Emma has five and five. That's ten. Okay. And now, there aren't any questions. Well, that means that we need to come up, or you need to come up, with some questions. What kind of questions could we ask if you were writing a math book? Or, you know, what kind of questions could we ask about this pictograph? Maybe one would be a uh, how many more question. Like, how many more cars does, does somebody have than somebody? How many more cars does Matthew have? than Emma. And of course, you can write some more like this. How many more cars does Matt have than Emma and so on. Matthew and Emma. Okay, Matthew has three pictures and Emma has two pictures. So Matthew has one picture more. But the one picture means five cars. So Matthew has five cars more than Emma. And then you could ask how many fewer cars does Emma have than Matt? You know, how many more, how many fewer? Then you could ask how many they have in total. Something where you need to add, such as Matthew and Matt together. How many cars do they have together? Matthew and Matt together. How many cars? Okay. You can take those numbers and add, or you can just count these and these pictures, counting by fives. Don't count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that they have eight cars together. No. No. Count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, and then go to maths. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Matthew and Matt, forty cars together. 
we could ask how many all three children have together. And so on. Oh, Matthew has an idea. Yeah. Okay. Matthew has an interesting idea. Matthew said that how many cards does Matthew have and Emma have? If Matthew gives one card to Emma. Okay. If you give one card to Emma, Matthew, then how many will Emma have? Well, Emma has 10 now, so she would have one more, 11. And you have 15, so you would have 14. Here's another kind of problem you could make. Instead of Matthew giving one card to Emma, how about if Matthew gives five cards to Emma? And then I can erase one of these five cards, you know, and then draw it here. And then, of course, over here I would change these two, right? Then Matthew would have 10. And Emma would have 15. And then you could ask something like, if Matt gives 10 cars to Emma, then how many more cars does Emma have than Matty? Let's just lastly count how many cars these children have in total. Again, you can just count by fives using the pictures. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50 cars in total. Okay, well done with this lesson.